All right, I got 10 meters to the bottom. We are currently mapping the wreck site of the USS Astoria, a heavy cruiser that was sunk in 1942 during the first of five major naval battles that occurred here off Guadalcanal that resulted in a loss of over 20,000 lives, 111 ships, and 1,450 planes. The Battle of Savo Island, the first of two that occurred here, and this wreck that we're diving on today was mapped 10 years ago and also briefly imaged, and they got a, a really nice map of the site and Today, we're gonna to be re-imaging the site and also imaging the site in much more detail. It's a very significant site that we're diving upon today. It, it really marks the beginning of some really heavy naval battles that happened here in the region during the period of August 1942 to December 1942. It's actually um, somewhat interesting that the sequence in which we are diving these wrecks uh, so the, the one we dealt this morning, the USS Vincennes, and now the USS Astoria, and the USS Quincy, they were all patrolling this area in one formation in, in the early morning of August 8th, 1942. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so I think as everybody can see, we're sitting at the stern of Cruiser Astoria. Astoria actually has kind of an interesting connection with Japan. Pre-war, she was selected to carry the ashes from the late Japanese ambassador to America from Annapolis back to Japan. It was kind of seen as a goodwill gesture to the Japanese, and one of the uh, Japanese ships which escorted Astoria into port was the destroyer Akatsuki. I uh, should also note that the ship's commanding officer at this time was one Richmond Kelly Turner, who would later become one of the commanding officers in the Guadalcanal campaign. I am already noticing that there's quite a bit more biofouling present on this wreck than totally. what we noticed on yeah. the previous site. Now we are, we're only six or seven kilometers away, but we are um, about 200 meters or 150 meters shallower. That may have something to do with that, or, yeah. or may not. Looks like I can see some more wood on the deck and some distortions on the on the main deck level. And that that, look, that post that's fallen over that looks like the stern post with the stern yeah. light maybe on it. Could be, yeah. We're noticing that not everything aligns with what we see in the damage report. Or there's other the other shots. Can you tell me a little bit more about what some of these reports are based off of, and is it common? to These see differences in the actual wreck site than what we would expect. Yeah, you know, they tried to come piece together the whole uh, action from start to finish, better way to, to learn from it. So you're trying to remember something after the event and the chaos of battle sometimes. Yeah, it's not surprising so that uh, some of the stuff that, that you know, was reported yeah. wasn't accurate and some things that weren't reported Thank turned you. up showing up. Wow. Jeez. What is this? Frank's thought is that the, the armor tubes that service the forward gun and AA directors. Yeah. You look clear. Looks like the director's gone. Unless something comes off that port side rail. Maybe I think we're in this area. Up in, That's going to be up a in problem here, problem yeah, but the super It might be this yeah. itself. But the superstructure seems to be all gone around it. Yeah, yeah you got some line trailing off of it. Or two. Is that. Uh, I'm gonna divert here and take a look, try, try and see what this, uh, how high this line goes, because it'll affect us if we're doing a center run. So Frank, as we're reapproaching the wreck, All right, I got 10 meters to the bottom. We said that the Astoria was lost in the Battle of Savo Island. Can you provide a little more of an overview about that battle and how that fits into the mission here at Guadalcanal? Operation Watchtower, the landings on Guadalcanal, took place on August 7th. And the Japanese response was um, immediate, and they came down what would become known as the slot um, from their bases uh, north of here. And the U.S. and Allied forces were being protected by two groups. One was to the south of Savo Island, and one was slightly to the east. Mikawa approached the southern unit first, the cruisers there were USS Chicago and HMAS Canberra. 
the third cruiser that would have been part of that screen was Canberra sister ship HMAS Australia and shortly after uh, midnight Macala's forces entered the sound inflicted serious damage to uh, both Chicago and Canberra Macala then turned his ships towards the northern group which was Astoria Vincennes and Quincy and again Macala took the three ships by surprise all three of the cruisers in the northern group story of Vincennes and Quincy were sunk. Radar was still a new, fairly new technology. Commanders were still learning how to, to use it. Uh, in the southern group, uh, USS Chicago had radar, but uh, for whatever reason, her commanding officer was fearing that transmitting it would reveal his position. <laughs> radar was a distinct advantage, but it was an advantage that the Americans kind of threw away. It became uh, one of the worst defeats in US Navy history. One of the lessons that did come from this battle, though, was the need to not only gather information, but process it and disseminate it among the crew so that the weapons could be uh, best utilized. And that was kind of the beginning of uh, what we now call a combat information center. And that helped uh, kind of prevent some of the confusion and chaos that uh, was evident in these early battles. Man, just remarkable that, that that piece of bow just sits <laughs> sitting on top of there. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's wild. Or anything oh, there's an anchor. Some. Yep. Nope. Two anti aircraft guns. Or? Look at the deck just strewn with those casings. Shell casings everywhere. They come with the gun mount. Like there's plenty oh of man, sea life this, this, the this, this is there. fantastic, yeah. yeah. Turret three here. Yeah. It's the five inch, what appears to be a five inch casing in the starboard right, yeah. gun barrel or gun house part. Okay, we're getting ready to pass over the bow again. Okay, coming up tight. Yeah. So we should get a good view of the anchor. Yeah, so that's the periscope. Yep. Yeah, okay. up tight. Okay. 